Hey YouTubers, it's SSSO next today. So anyway, it's uh, near the end of September of 2022. Pretty freaking amazing. Uh, yeah, the year is purely flying by. Pretty freaking amazing. Uh, yeah, first day of fall, first day of autumn, autumn equinox of 2022. Pretty freaking amazing. That is purely freaking amazing. So the year is purely flying by. Uh, purely freaking amazing. So anyway, another Pokemon topic. So uh, anyway, I want to talk right now essentially good AI uh, and specifically good AI with first generation. So uh, what does good AI and first generation mean? So you have first generation Pokemon, red, blue, and yellow. And uh, yeah, and to a certain degree, you know, Pokemon uh, red and green, but those are, you know, Japanese only games. I'm talking about, you know, red and blue and yellow. Now, what does good AI basically mean? Basically, there are certain trainers in the uh, Pokemon game, both, I believe, regular trainers as well as bosses, such as your rival, such as the Elite Four, such as gym leaders, who have what's called good AI. Now, this information, I actually learned this information from another YouTuber. Uh, his name is J-Rose, and big shout out to J-Rose. He's another YouTuber who does uh, Pokemon uh, videos, like Pokemon uh, walkthroughs and stuff like that, so big shout out to him. He's the one who taught me this, so all, all credit information goes to him. So thank you very much, J-Rose. Anyway, so back to the video topic. So what is good AI? So certain bosses and certain trainers in Pokemon Generation 1 have good AI, which basically means they will always use a move that is super effective on your Pokemon. See, if you were to throw, say, a water Pokemon in front of, you know, your first ro your first battle in Pokemon, your first, like, um, random random trainer in the Ver Viridian Forest, you know, your first random bug catcher, they would not, even if they had a move, hypothetically, that was super effective against your Pokemon, they would, they might not necessarily use it because they have what's called random AI. So, for example, the second rival, uh, just north of Cerulean uh, City, has random AI, which means even if, you know, you send out your Bulbasaur and he has a Charmander, he's not necessarily going to use Ember because the AI is random. Unlike Misty, for example, Misty, who is a little bit pissed you know, or pissed off, you know, just being silly, just being silly. So I'm just being silly about that part. She's not really pissed off. Uh, Misty's a cool character, um, you know, in uh, Pokemon. So just being silly about that. She's not actually, you know, pissed off or pissy. So uh, anyway, so basically Misty has good AI. So for example, if you were to send out a Charmander, she would always use a water move uh, on your Charmander. Now where the AI gets interesting, you know, quote unquote interesting, and yes, I was just being silly about the piss part with Misty. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, where the AI gets interesting is say you are battling against Lance in the Elite Four, and Lance also has good AI. Lance, um, Lorelei, or Lorelei, and uh, your the champion has good AI. Say you were using a, po a poison Pokemon, like a Weezing or a Muck, and yes, Muck's name is spelled backwards. It's funny. Everyone knows what it's, it's spelled backwards. I don't have to say it. So uh, basically, you're using a Weezing or a Muck, and you were facing his Dragonite. He would always use Barrier. And you might say, well, why the hell would he use Barrier? Like, why the hell would he use Barrier? Barrier doesn't, you know, damage the Pokemon. Why would he use, like, you know, a move like Psychic? Well, first off, he doesn't have Psychic. And second off, the AI thinks Barrier is super effective against your Weezing, your Muck, because it's a Psychic move. So... For example, if you were facing Lorelei and, um, you know, you were coming at him, coming at Lorelei with a Weezing, she might repeatedly use Rest with her Dugong because the AI thinks it's super effective because, it, because it's a... Um, it's a psychic move, or she might use, um, well, actually, she wouldn't use Aurora Beam unless you were using a grass Pokemon. So, uh, like, for example, Erica in Celadon City, she has good AI also. So, for example, you have a Pokemon, a grass Pokemon, she's always going to use Poison Powder with her Victory Bell because the AI thinks it's super effective, even though Poison, po po poison, sorry, poison Powder doesn't directly damage, it just causes a status condition. So even if you're already poisoned, she's always going to go for um, 
poison powder over and over and over again, even if you're already poisoned for 16 turns. Well, not hype, well, not that much, but you get the freaking point. So, uh, same thing as the, the rival after Giovanni, uh, you know, the, the last normal rival battle, he has good AI also. Uh, so, if you have a poison Pokemon like a Maka or a Weezing uh, or a Venomoth, or is Venomoth poison? Yeah, Venomoth is poison. Um, essentially, uh, he is Pidgeotto, or sorry, Pidgeot. Pidgeot is always going to go for agility because the AI thinks it's super effective, even though agility uh, just raises speed by two stages. He's just going to keep spamming agility. So that's where AI is interesting. And then a lot of trainers, there are some trainers that have good AI in the game. They're spread out randomly. Like I've seen one in the Silence Bridge bridge area in Pokemon, in Pokemon Red and Blue, but the whole freaking point is AI can be random, it can be good AI, but AI in Pokemon Generation 1 can be very, very damn interesting, very freaking interesting, so it can be very weird. So anyway, have a nice day, I've rambled on long enough, bye.